Indianapolis Colts here. They have the fourth easiest schedule walking into the NFL season, and they're projected at six and a half wins. I have the Colts going six and 11 overall this year. So just under on that six and a half projected win total splitting at home. Uh, the, um, I know they have some international games as well. I believe they do, if I'm not mistaken, um, five and five at home and then one and six on the road. So 10 games at home. Again, if some of those are international, I, I believe they are. Um, and then one and six on the road. They're going to go two and four in the division, splitting with the Titans and splitting with the Texans, but they're going to get swept by the Jags. And I believe the Colts, Texans and Titans are all going to be in a situation where you, know, you got rookie quarterback, rookie quarterback, and potentially another rookie quarterback and Will Levis, you know, all these quarterbacks taking the draft right here in this division. We know the Colts have a good coach. A lot of, you know, good talks about D'Amico Ryans and Mike, Mike Vrabel is very respected. Him and Doug Peterson are going to be probably the two best coaches in that division um, this year. But they're in positions to where with the roster, which Colts, Texans, Titans, not all great with the quarterback situation kind of all question marks because it's either rookies or who's the quarterback going to be in the Titans situation. So that's why I think that, you know, they can split with the Titans and the Texans talking about the Colts here, but they are going to get swept by the Jags who are by far the best team in this division. I got the Colts starting 0-3 in the season, though. Their first W is going to come against the Rams in week four. But before the bye week, they have Jacksonville twice, the Browns, the Saints, the Ravens, and even the Panthers could pop by week nine. <clears throat> so much weeded, excuse me, much needed by week in week 11, but they're going to have a record of three and seven heading in. Again, you're going to be facing, you're going to have that W against the Rams, but when you're facing Jacksonville twice, which both of those are losses, Browns, that's a loss. Saints, that's a loss. Ravens, that's a loss. Um, you could beat the Panthers, which I think they, I don't know. I have a lot of faith in Bryce Young being that number one pick. Frank Wright, um, you know, really making things happen. I know we have Shane Steichen here as well, but he's a rookie head coach versus, <clears throat> Frank Wright being a seasoned head coach in this league, and we know what he's done, you know, being in the NFL. And I have a lot of faith in what Carolina, you know, I realistically think Carolina by week nine, maybe even week five to seven, they could be competitive. You know, like they could be playing football like a, a B minus team, you know, still some moves away from the Super Bowl. But um, nonetheless, it could be either way game for the Colts. I believe it's going to be a loss. So much needed by week in week 11. They're going to have a record of three and seven walking in. They're going to be playing five games against playoff teams from last year. They're going to go one and four in those games, two losses to Jacksonville. They're going to lose to the Ravens. They're going to lose to the Bengals. I think they could beat Tampa as sticky as it could get. Tampa does have a great Super Bowl roster outside of quarterback. If you ask me, some people are not a big fan of the coaching, but when you look at what's on the defense, you look at the offensive power that's still with the Bucks. If they had the quarterback right, I believe a lot more people would be talking about Tampa. It's going to be a win here. It could be a potential loss, and I'm kind of actually questioning myself why I put a win against Tampa, but hey, we'll stick with it. Biggest matchup is going to be Week 18 against the Texans. That will be the playoff implications, and of course, they know the NFL. They leave the division games later in the season. Sometimes they'll stack three or four of them right in a row, or five of your last six are division games. You know, We know it can get kind of lined up that way. <clears throat> 